Hi friends, whenever I travel, I like to incorporate sustainable shopping into my itinerary, checking out vintage, resale, thrift, and antique shops. On our recent trip to Ohio, I got to experience Amish country for the first time. I can't believe what I found there in an antique mall. Let me take you along. Welcome to the Dress Up Mall. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. As I get older, I really appreciate getting together with family to celebrate joyous occasions. We recently had that opportunity when our beautiful niece got married in Ohio. We also got to reconnect with family that we hadn't seen in a while and it was really fun. We all got to the vet a little bit early and we had a tiny bit of time to do something before the wedding. My daughter and her boyfriend had already explored the area a bit. They told me that they went to Amish country and there were some antique malls and things like that that they thought I would really like. Well, that was all I needed to hear. It turned out that quite a few people in our little group were interested in making this excursion. So about nine of us headed out to Berlin, Ohio, which was about an hour's drive from where we were. Berlin is considered the heart of Amish country. The ride was scenic along country roads with no traffic. We saw lots of green fields, trees, farms, horses, and wide open spaces. As we got closer to Berlin, we saw people on bikes and horse-drawn carriages. We parked near Main Street, where there are more than 50 restaurants, shops, inns, hotels, and historic attractions. Now, we only had a few hours to spend here because we did have to get back and get ready for the wedding. Our first stop was a delicious bakery where we got these homemade cream-filled donuts and delicious coffee. Next was the antique mall. This was similar to most antique malls I visited and had a little bit of everything. There was a good mix of tourists and locals and the people at the cashier stand were Amish. It wasn't super big, and I knew I didn't have a ton of time here because our group was doing everything together. There was some cool furniture and larger things I knew I couldn't transport. and landed on one stall that had a nice selection of vintage clothing and accessories. Unique pieces in really good condition and a pretty good price. This two-piece vintage 1970s pantsuit with bell bottoms caught my eye. I liked the neutral print and I'm a sucker for bell bottoms. I also don't have many vests and I've been wanting to incorporate more in my wardrobe since I live in a warm quiet and they're a great layering piece. I knew it would be fun to wear the set together and as separates, and I knew I could style the pieces a bunch of different ways with what I already own. I tried on the vest first, and it fit perfectly. I also knew that the pants would fit me well, but they might be a little bit short, so I checked the hem, and I could see that they could be let down easily. The price was right, so I bought it and put the vest on right away. Now, I could have explored this antique mall a lot longer, but I knew the troops were getting restless, so we left. We stopped next in one of the trippiest places I've seen in a long time. At first I thought it would just be quilts, but as we went further, there was a ton of stuff in here. There were different sections, fairies, garden gnomes, a whole room of Christmas stuff, and a kind of creepy dollhouse with all sorts of dolls. I definitely would not want to be needing to be in charge of the inventory in this place because it had tons of stuff. We had so much fun in here. I picked up some soap and a salve for eczema in another shop. All natural and feels really good on. There were some really beautiful handmade baskets with the Amish lady and her daughter that made the baskets right there. And I would have loved to have taken one of those, but I, I just knew I couldn't transport it and I didn't really have a great place for it, but they were beautiful. It was interesting seeing the buggies mixed in with cars along Main Street. We finished our short jaunt with a really delicious lunch 
some of the best homemade broccoli, soup, cheese, and bread I've ever had. There was so much more to do in Berlin, but we really did have to leave and head out and get ready for the wedding. It was a really fun way to experience a little bit of local flavor and do something really different. I brought my gritty 70s suit home and it had the pants lengthened and it's like this suit was custom made for me. My alterations guru, Donna, couldn't believe it and she said it's really well made. It's an amazing condition too. I have had a lot of fun playing around with different ways to style these two pieces and so just check out some of the things I've put together. keep going on with this for a while but I better stop. I like for my clothes to evoke a special memory or a feeling and this little suit really does. It reminds me of a fun day spent with people I love in a really different place. Also I swear I can find vintage 70s clothes anywhere. What do you think of this set and what are some of your suggestions for styling it? Please let me know that in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.